Well, for many who served in Afghanistan, the cost of war may be greater when they're back home than when they are actually out there on the battlefield. Well, 2 News Oklahoma reporter Vincent Hill spoke with two veterans about the struggles and what help is available now, and their story is new at 5. It was true war. It was pretty dicey sometimes. Sean O'Brien spent two years in Afghanistan. A lot of pot shots. And he was not the same when he left. My, uh, my vehicle was destroyed. We went over a pressure plate IED. And um, grace of God, all of us were able to walk away from it. He received the Purple Heart, but once back home. Compared to what I know and how I was raised, uh, I wouldn't have known myself. Sean says he felt like there was no hope. I went through a bit of uh, alcohol use, um, went through some depression, went through some different things. He says his faith in God and programs offered at the coffee bunker helped him find his way. Other veterans find themselves without a place to live, like Charles Lumen. About a year and a half, maybe, I was living back in my truck. But not anymore. I've been in my apartment now a year. Thanks to a program through the VA and enrollment assistance from the coffee bunker. HUDVASH has been very good for our veterans. HUDVASH, a partnership between HUD and the Department of Veterans Affairs, offering housing vouchers to qualifying veterans like Charles so they can find affordable housing, giving veterans like Charles the one thing they need. This is the place for hope. Now, veterans must be homeless, meaning not living with a friend or relative and considered low income to qualify for that program. The Coffee Bunker is open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, for assistance in getting veterans enrolled. Vincent Hill, 2 News, Oklahoma.